Hello everyone and welcome back to rubberstamps.com. This is session four of our card making academy and it's all about paper layering. Today we are taking what we learned in the practice prompt and putting it all together to make a card. The stamp set that we are going to be using today is this seashell wreath set that we have. We're going to be using the wreath and some of the other elements on the stamp set. To create this card, you will also need two different types of cardstock. They can be any pattern, any color. We're going to be going with this nice seafoam, seafoam green and a coordinating seafoam green under layer. But again, you can use whatever you like that's going to coordinate with the colors that you end up using with your stamps. The card that we are making today is actually going to be a 5 by 7 card. So the first step in creating this card is to cut down both pieces of paper to the size 5 by 7. And now that we have our cardstock ready to go, we can go ahead and set that aside. And we are going to move on to stamping our elements onto white cardstock. All right, so we can go ahead and open up our stamp set. I went ahead and already cut out these shapes with my Cricut. If you have a Cricut machine, we do have these Cricut files um, available for free on our website. If you don't have a Cricut, then you can just simply stamp onto white cardstock and cut out the shapes afterwards. I'm just going to be stamping onto the shapes that I already have cut out from my Cricut. For each of these stamps, I'm just going to be using black ink and then we will go back in after and color in these shapes with marker. If you don't have marker on hand, that's totally fine. You can use colored pencils, crayons, really whatever you have available to you will work for this card. All right, and like I said, I'm going to go in and color each of the stamps using Ohuhu markers. If you don't have Ohuhu markers, that's totally fine. You can use another brand of marker or colored pencils or, again, whatever it is that you have available to you to make this card. I do want to point out that I'm going to be layering the separate starfish on top of the wreath starfish. The same goes for the sand dollar and one of the shells. So I want to make sure that I'm coloring both starfish the same color. And then the same goes for both sand dollars, make sure that they're the same color, just so that when they're layered on top of each other, they look like they're the same element. So now I'm going to take my 3D adhesive dots and I'm going to stick them on the back of a few of these little stamps. So we're going to do this on the back of this first shell and second shell. We're also going to do it for the starfish and the sand dollar. Then we're going to line up the corresponding shapes on the wreath and glue them so that they're 3D on top of the wreath. The next step is to cut out a circle in the middle of this top layer of paper. To do this, I'm actually using the inverse of the Cricut cutout, and I'm going to trace that on the back and cut it out with an X-Acto knife. You could also just trace the inside of the wreath that you already have cut out, trace that, and cut it out so that we have a hole in the center of this top layer of paper. Now we are going to glue the wreath to the top layer of paper. So to do that, I'm going to use my tape glue runner and just trace along the edge of the paper and then stick the wreath down directly over the hole. And for this card, I'm going to be using the phrase thinking of you just because it fits really nicely in the center of the peephole. You could use a different phrase or even something handwritten if you prefer, but I'm going to be using the thinking of you stamp. So I'm just going to stamp that with black ink in the center. And now I'm going to go in with these 3D adhesive dots and add these to the additional elements that I have. And I'm going to glue those to the top of the card. And now finally, I am going to take the 3D adhesive dots and put it on the back of the top layer. I'm going to make sure I put a lot on because I want this to stay 
in place. I don't want the top layer to be flapping around. I want it to have some structure and to be sturdy and steady on the top of the card. And finally, we are going to glue this down to an actual card so that we can send it to someone in the mail. They can open it up. We can write a greeting on the inside. And there we have it. This is the final result. I think it turned out super cute. It's also a really easy card that you can make. All you need is this one stamp set and black ink. And then really you can use whatever paper you might have on hand, whatever coloring utensils you have on hand, whether that's markers or colored pencils, it totally doesn't matter. I just think this is a really easy way to practice paper layering and to end up with a really great card at the end of it. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below if you try making this card. I hope this was helpful for you and we will see you next time.